what are some of your, I guess, greatest lessons maybe since you become a dad? Oh man, probably, probably the biggest one is probably projection um, in the sense that we project a hell of a lot as people, as human beings, you know, we, we carry a lot of stuff. Um, if it's stuff that we don't resolve, if it's stuff that we're not aware of, um, you know, I'll, 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 I'll sometimes have an outburst with my kids and, um, and literally like when I'm finished, I'm like, shit, that had nothing to do with them. That's something that I'm carrying a stress that I'm carrying, or I'm worried about a meeting or I'm worried about a client or, um, and I suppose that's, that's kind of what it is. It's something that I'm still, it's something that I'm still wanting to be better at and, and learn. Um, but just being able to take a step back and when you're angry about something to do with your kids and go, why am I angry right now? Like, is this something that I should be angry about? Is it something that I should be disciplining them about? Is it something that I should be letting go? Is it something that I should be looking at myself in the mirror and going, why are you feeling this way? Um, and, and that's probably been the hugest thing is that is that kind of inflection, you know, that looking at yourself and going, okay, wh why am I feeling this right now? Um, and yeah, I man, because, because you're, you're, I see it with, with my girls and I see it with my boy and your words uh, your words hold so much weight for them, regardless of what age they are, whether they're four, five, 12, 18, the stuff that you say in, in the moment, in the heat of the moment, the stuff that you say, because you're having a shit day, they'll remember that, you know, that will be stuff that they carry, that could potentially carry with them for years, if not the rest of their lives. And, and I suppose that's, the thing that I've, I've, I've kind of learned the most, well, I'm still, sorry, put a, put a, put a punctuation that i'm still learning is is the how much we project um our own insecurities our own stress our own trauma our own life experiences onto onto them and and that's something that i'm i'm super aware of and, and want to be much much better at as a, as a parent um is is that because you yeah man you you're you're holding a life in your hands um, and that's quite a scary, it's quite a scary thing. Um, you're holding a, a personality and a, and a, and a fragile mind and a susceptible mind in your, in your hands. And that's, that's, man, that scares the shit out of me, you know? And, and yeah, that's something that I really want to be better at. And I think I have, I think I've got better at it. And I think I've got better at, at taking a step back sometimes and, and kind of just measuring when it's my own baggage. Um, it's an insecure thing to be a parent. It's very, very scary. Um, you're constantly worried about these kids at the same time. You're constantly worried that you're being, you don't want, you don't want, I don't want to, I don't like, I, I'm always scared that the stuff you do for your kids gets taken for granted, you know? And, and then I'm kind of like, why am I worried about that? Am I worried about that because of, I want to be validated. Or am I worried about that because I want them to be grateful human beings and grateful for the things that they have? And probably it's a bit of both, you know, if, if, if I'm being brutally honest. And, and it's about doing what's right for them in the good and the bad, you know, like those life lessons that they, that they need to learn, but picking the right time, um, picking the right moment, sometimes just altering your tone of voice yeah, man, it's just, uh, it's a different, it's a different kettle of fish, you know, marriage is one thing, but being a parent as well, when you, when you are, you know, cause your wife can just tell you you're being a dick, you know, and, uh, shut your face and your kid can't because you won't allow that as well, you know? So, um, yeah, I suppose that's the biggest thing is, is, is why am I feeling this way right now? Why am I reacting this way right now? Is it my own stuff? Or is it something that I should be reacting to? Something that I should be managing? I mean, you and I have spoken to it before. You want you want your kids to be resilient. You want to give them a great life, but you also want them to be resilient and to know what to do when things get tough and and have the backbone to to kind of find their way when things are, are rough because you're not going to be around forever. Um, so yeah, probably that's the biggest one, man. Is is projecting and when when am I, when am I projecting and when am I when am I reacting to something that I should be reacting to?